Check out my brand new book on tiny house living and designs down below in the descriptions and a link to our film on building a tiny house. Yeah, I should be doing like a thousand other things like cleaning up for one this mess behind me. But I'm going to make some mud patents for mud larking, for exploring, for all you wilderness geeks out there. These are kind of cool. Check them out. And they can be made with, in most cases, scraps you have sitting around. Let's do it. Step one from the realm of the forgotten, that being scraps of wood over there in that weird pile. Taking this junk piece of plywood, because after all this will be dunked, squashed, and stepped upon in the mud. Gonna cut out some little square pads for my feet. Never filmed this way before, but let's go for it. Self-filming while cutting. There's a first time for everything. All right, so I cut four of these to make two sets. I want them about the size of my foot, a little bit wider. I'm just increasing the surface area of where I'm stepping so that I don't sink. It's basically like snowshoes. Uh, I don't want them too wide because when I put them on, I get you know knocking my feet together when they're attached to these plywood pieces. So keep that in mind. There's a fine balance between more square footage or inches, inchage, and you tripping over your own feet here. Uh, they don't have to be beautiful, like I'll get these burrs off here, but they're almost disposable. They'll only last so long, so don't get too fancy with these. All right, now I marked out those X's where I want to drill the holes, they're right close to my feet. If these were the shoes I'd be wearing, which are generally what's going to be happening, I wear sneakers when I do this and not boots, but they'll fit anyway. So you can see I drilled the holes and over in this one I've threaded the rope through. It's one piece of rope that's tied underneath and connects. And when they are done and tied, they kind of look like this. And you do intentionally want your toe overextending to break the suction uh, of the board against the mud when you walk. But I'll show you how to tie these in just a second. Pardon, pardon my uh, sporty socks here. <laughs> I didn't plan on filming a video. All right, tying things. I'm going to reverse here. I'll untie it and show you this extreme close-up shot here. It's actually really easy, as long as you start properly. So you have these two loops here. You take this rope here and approaching from the front, you thread it through here, like in croquet. Same thing through here, all right? Through and under there. This part here kicks back, and that's where your heel goes, like so. Kick this forward. So this goes up a ways in your heel. I'll show you in another shot. Weird trying to film this without a tripod. Um, pull these up as high as you can over the top of your shoe. You can pull this as tight as you can, or if you want more friction, sometimes I will run it through one more time. You know, on the principle of like that timber hitch and all those friction knots, that's not what I'm doing here. Pull that as tight as you can. Now, as I hold this, I'm gonna go down it doesn't matter really which way and loop under here. Same with this one. To pull it back up. Over the crown or top of your foot again. You know, I'll just go with a single pull here and really tighten that. And tie it a couple times if you use a slippery, junk, cheapo rope. And these things should not come off. They should almost hurt a little bit. You don't want these slipping off when you're deep in the mud because they're tough to tie when you are... Uh, on the go and your hands are covered in mud. So that's what they look like. See how I looped around the back here in that first stage? And here you go. Stylish, ergonomical. They make a statement. But most importantly, they keep you from falling into your neck in mud. Now next time around, I'll probably use some better rope. Um, the synthetic stuff, the nylon stuff is easier to tie or not really easier to untie but that means it slips. It's more apt to slip. So you want to tie things double, if not triple, in a lot of cases. Hemp-based rope, some of the other stuff that has more friction to it, ties tighter, it keeps, it holds, but it's tougher to untie. So it's like, you know, six of one, half dozen of the other. So in one of the next videos, since we do a lot of bottle hunting, a lot of DIY projects, building, finding stuff, flea marketing, salvaging, flipping, 
And one of the next videos, we'll be using these to check out a pond that's been kind of low from the drought we've been having around here, although it rained a lot, like the last 30 hours or two days for 30 hours. So this pond is up more than it was before. I wish I did this earlier. We're gonna check out the pond and see what we can find. Please hit subscribe. Subscribe would be that word if you dug this video. Leave a comment down below, hit that bell for notifications, and thank you for watching as always.